chat after nine holes and compare notes. And about 155 yards out. Going with the eight iron. This one's looking good, folks. And with that, he's on the green. And this one's for birdie. That one will drop. And currently sitting at one under for the day. And now let's move to the second hole. And here's the six iron. And the shot's looking pretty good. And that shot will be on the green with a fairly lengthy putt ahead. And just missing. This putt's about five feet from the cup. Yeah, and that one's uh, right in the cup. Currently sitting at one under for the day. And now let's move to the third hole. Talk about getting a hold of a drive. This is incredible. And I'm not quite sure where this one's going to end up. about three feet away here. And that one goes in for the bird. And he will stay right where he is on the leaderboard after that hole. All right, here's the fourth hole. I think this one's gonna find the fairway. Okay, and about 145 yards left.
going with the nine iron. And nothing wrong with that shot. And this is for birdie. Oh goodness, that was that was almost in. And this puts for par. And with that, he will move in to a tie for the top spot. Okay, let's see what the fifth has in store for us. We'll find some fairway here. And this next shot, setting up below the hole. And that looks like a uh, five iron. Uh, missing the approach on that one and just not enough club on that one. This looks like around a four footer, I'd say. And that one drops for par. And two under for the day after that one. And that means he's first overall on the leaderboard. And moving on to the sixth. Here's an eight iron. This is going towards the green here. Oh my gracious, that was close. And tapping it in for the power. And after that one, he's still in first place. And now setting up for the next par four hole. Pretty sure he's gonna like that one. And about 150 yards to the pin. Going with the eight iron here. This could be good, it's heading for the green here. Ooh, 
Tour. This is about a four footer. And a nice putt. And after that hole, he will stay right where he is on the leaderboard. And let's see what the eighth has in store today. I think this one's going to find the short grass. And I don't think this is going to end well, folks. And from the fairway bunker. And this putt to save par. And finishing this hole out with a solid putt. And currently sitting at two under for the day. to the ninth. Well, this one's looking like it's finding the fairway. But, in actual fact, that ended up in the rough.
And now from 15 feet. And this for the double bogey. Okay, and now let's uh, take a peek and see what's happening on the leaderboard. And Luke is back after the front nine. Uh, Luke, what are you seeing out there today? He's currently inside the top 10, but with the talent in this tournament, he'll need to keep making more birdies down the stretch if he wants to stay there. Thanks, Luke. We'll chat again at the 18th. And now setting up for the par four tee off. This one's looking pretty good. From about 145 yards out. Here's a nine iron. And I think he will be pleased with that. About 13 feet away. thought that was going to go. And this one's for par. Ooh, just missing here. This putt is for the bogey. All right, let's take a peek at the leaderboard now. And after that hole, one over for the day. And he is also tied for eighth on the leaderboard. Okay, now moving on to the 11th. Going with the hybrid here. And this one's looking pretty good. And with that, he is on the dance floor. This one's about a seven footer. For the birdie. And that hole's gonna bring him down to even par. And he's currently tied for fourth up on the leaderboard. And now we find ourselves on the 12th. Well, this one's looking like it's in the fairway. Yeah, about 110 yards to the pin from here. And that will not be on the green. From here, it's about 10 feet away. And the par putt will drop. And after that one, staying right there in fourth place. And now teeing off on the par five. Boop. 
And the shot's looking promising. I think he'll be happy with that. And this is about a 105 yard shot to the pin. And I think he'll like that. And this for the birdie. This shot might be a perfect shot, folks. And right into the cup. And he's gonna move up the leaderboard after that one. And setting up now on the 14th hole. Looking like this is bound for the short stuff. And about 200 yards to the pin. It looks like the uh, hybrid is on display here. This one's looking good. From 19 feet. Just missing here. And this putt's about a two-footer here. And the par putt drops. And after that hole, nothing changes uh, in the standings for them. Still in second place. And now teeing off on this par four. Immense power on this drive, folks. And about 200 yards to the pin. Yeah, it looks like a five iron. This putt's for birdie. And this shot could be just right. Ooh, 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 ooh. That, was, uh, that was very close. And for the par. And that putt will drop. And one under for the day after that hole. And he's tied for third place. And setting up on the 16th tee. And heading for the green. Well, I apologize, folks. I did not see that going into the rough. And this putt to save par. Ooh, and it just misses.
This one's about 11 feet from the cup. Ooh, just missing here. This putt's about three feet away. And that one will drop. And that performance has led him to go down in the standings. And team off on this par four. Appears to be heading for the fairway here. From here, 110 yards to the pin. Looking good. And this one's for birdie. One drops for par. And after that one, no change in the leaderboard for them. Still 10th place. And as he tees off here on the 18th, got to wonder what's going through his head. Four strokes off the lead. Let's see what happens. It's looking pretty good so far. And apologies to those folks at home. Uh, that shot actually ended up in the rough. And it definitely looks like this lie is going to be better than the last one. And I think he's going to like that. And this next putt for a 72 final round score. Ooh, it looked close. Just didn't go. And tapping it in to end the round with a par. And as this event comes to an end, he's left himself up there. Top 10 on the leaderboard, which is uh, not too shabby, Luke. Yeah, I like the way they played, John. They had plenty of bright moments throughout that performance, and that's why they'll take home the top 10. But I hope they're playing for the win the next time they're out here. Well, that's going to do it. Thanks for joining us today.
Hello everyone, great to have your company for the Reverie Open. My name is Luke Elvey and with me is John McCarthy as we get ready to bring you all of today's action. And John, why don't you set the scene for us here on this course? What does this first hole have in store for the players? Well Luke, the White Fang starts with a par 4, not for the faint of heart. It starts with a pretty narrow landing area and it's flanked by bunkers on either side. Then you get the uh, approach to a raised green that is virtually surrounded on all sides by yet more sand traps. This is going to be an interesting one. I hope the players are up for the challenge today. It's a fierce course. Thanks, John. It's all set up to be a thrilling day. And there we go. Get those first drive nerves out of the system. Should be interesting. Five feet from the hole here. Ooh, and that was very close. Just didn't didn't drop. This putt's about a two footer. And that par putt will drop. And starting the round off with a par, not bad. And now the second hole tee off. And going with the six iron. This is heading towards the green. And this for the birdie. And this shot could be the one, folks. Ooh, and it just, just doesn't drop. This one's about three feet from the cup. And that putt will drop for par. And after that hole, he will stay at even par. Third hole tee off. And some poor luck there. You're probably not too happy about that one. Well, this shot looks a bit off. And that one just went rough to rough. And after that one, the uh, ball's in the fairway and the green is in play.
putts looking to be about two feet. And that one will drop for par. And after that one, he has gone down in the standings. And teeing off on this next hole, the wind could come into play. Let's find out. And a promising looking shot here. And this putt to save par. And a nice putt. And he's going to move up in the standings after that hole. Okay, let's see what the fifth has in store today. Well, I'm pretty sure this is going to land in the fairway here. And about 180 yards to the pin. I think that's a five iron. And this one's heading towards the green. All right, and he's on. And this is right around the eight foot mark. For the birdie. And after that hole, one under for the day. And he's tied for fourth place on the leaderboard. And now the sixth hole. This one's close call. This could be in the rough. And a buck 90 out here. Going with the five iron here. This one's heading for the green. And that approach is on the green and a lengthy putt in the near future. Oh my, this is looking very, very promising. Ooh, and it just, just misses. And for the par. drop and after that one staying pretty steady in fourth place and now we find ourselves on the seventh hole tee off I think that's the hybrid. Oh, this is definitely heading towards the green.
Oh my lands, that was uh, that was very close. And this one's about four feet from the cup. And a nice putt there. And after that, hold one under for the day. And he's currently tied for fourth place on the leaderboard. Okay, we find ourselves now on the eighth hole tee off. Yeah, I think you'll like that. And I am pretty sure he's going to like that. And this for the birdie. And that putt drops. And after that hole, two under. And he's tied for third place on the leaderboard. And next up is a par four, folks. from 245 yards out. And I think he will be happy with that. Setting up for a big 40 foot putt. Ooh, that looked good. And about four feet from the cup. And a decent putt. And after nine, we're checking back in with our guy, Luke. What are you seeing out there on the course today as we uh, finish up this final round of action? Well, opening with par, par, par is always a solid start. It certainly allows them to build the foundations of a great round. Thanks, Luke. And uh, let's get back down to the action on the 10th. And let's see what the 10th has in store. Just a magnificent display of power here. And about 245 yards to the pin. And this putt is for birdie. This one's for par. And finishing this one with a good putt. And after that one, uh, holding steady in third place. And next up is the par five.
And uh, nicely done, looking like we'll have some fairway here. I think he's going to like that. And he's got to be happy with that. It's about a 10 footer from here. And that one drops for the birdie. And after that one, staying pretty steady here in the third place on the leaderboard. Now this shot is above the hole. Let's see how they compensate. Going with the pitching wedge here. This one's looking good, folks. And this one's for birdie. Is this going to be too good to be true? And that'll drop for birdie. And he's moving in the right direction, moving up on the leaderboard after that hole. Now setting up for the par four. Well, so far so good for this one. And from 150 yards. Going with the nine iron here. This one's looking pretty good. 25 feet from the cup. Oh my goodness, close, very close, but not so good. And about five feet to go here. Oh, that was close. And this for the bogey. Hey, Simo. Yeah, I'm liking it better, except for when I miss stupid little putts like that. But uh, the gra the graphics are better. The physics are pretty much better. And after that one, three under for the day. Sometimes the wind doesn't affect the ball at all. On the leaderboard. Okay, let's see what this uh, tee shot has in store on the 14th. The, the only real problem I have with this game right now is I've landed in the sand a few times and it said like an 80% shot and then I hit it and I still went 100% club distance. Yeah, I think this one's going to find the fairway. And you can fast forward your shots too now. Okay, about 185 yards to the pin. <clears throat> Let's see. See, it says the wind's blowing that way, but every time I move to the side, the wind don't bring it back, so I'll just, like, barely move. That looks like a uh, five iron. This is going towards the green here. And it triggers me how this guy says the word iron. Unlucky on that approach shot. Too much club on that, I think. Yeah. I don't like the chipping animation in this game. 
And the golf club won. I used to like chip in every time. The got a stupid chipping animation on here. Ugh. That's about a few feet from the cup. And that putt will go for par. And after that hole, moving down in the standings and into fourth place. Well, folks, I don't think he's going to like that. Old Rasputin. And teeing off on this par three. go with the shorter club here because this game is kind of weird when it comes to distances. Going with the six iron. Can't see anything. And say iron right, asshole. And he will like that. And this putt is for birdie. Alright. I said that's straight. Let's see me miss another straight putt. Oh. oh, for fuck's sake. Oh. And tapping in for par. This is why I don't win tournaments. And currently sitting at three under for the day after that one. And he's tied for third place. I have three holes to gain two shots. And now setting up for this par five. I think we'll find some fairway here. All right, cool. I'll take that. Uh. Yeah. Actually, it's funny. On the putts, that doesn't really affect the putt itself. But on the shots, it affects it like twice as much. Oh, I still want to go for this. Or yeah, I could get the ball to bounce between the two sand traps. And the ball is supposed to go left off trajectory here. Well, this is a close one. It could end up uh, ah. in the fairway. Yeah, that looks like the fairway there, big guy. The flop shots are stupid in this game, too. I'll take that. That one's a good one. I'll take that. Two feet from the cup. All right, this one says it's kind of straight. Let's let's not miss this one. And that one goes for birdie. And currently sitting at four under for the day. All right, one He's shot out. Tied for second place on the leaderboard. And now setting up for the next par four hole. All right, uh, we'll go shorter here just so it doesn't roll into the rough. Oh, actually, there's wind at my back, too. One more shorter. There we go. This is looking fairway bound. Got to play it careful with a chance to win, so. All right, that's going to go left off the shot. So do that. The wind might bring it back. 91. I should be okay. I should be on the green at least. And this one's definitely heading towards the green. Yeah, this one's about 19 feet away. Oh, I can't see anything. Oh, remind me not to play any, like, sunset tournaments anymore. Shit. I'll say right there, I guess. Ah, 
Ah, uh, not enough to the right. Damn. And for the par. Finishing this hole with a solid par. All right, so we ending on a par three. And they will stay in second place after that hole. <laughs> Teeing it up par four. on the 18th. All right. Do I do I go short club here, or I chance it in the middle here? If I do that, I'd be probably about 180 yards out. I think. It'd be about 180 yards out. This will tell me this is the smart way to go, but... Damn it. Okay, this one's looking pretty good. Oh, stayed in the fairway. Thank you. Whew. All right, that was half the battle. Now we could do this. And wow! With the seven iron on this one, and that shot will be on the green with uh, a fair amount of distance to make up to get that next putt. In the and hole. this is the putt I have to make to win the tournament. For fuck's sake. Since there there's no playoffs, you automatically win if you tie for first, so Yes. I did get away with that swing. It I like almost drew a dog in the box with that swing. Alright, I'm gonna click it two to the right. Three to the right, and hopefully it goes in. Fuck my life. Second place. Tapping in to end this round with a par. And Luke, from what I saw, he uh, he did pretty well for himself out there as his round comes to an end. Well, there can only be one winner each week, John, and this player was next closest to them. Great result, no doubt. Well, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of John, I'm Luke Elby. Great to have your company. Apparently get 16 experience per hole. Hey, yep. There's career mode and there's rivals in career mode on here. 34-34, that's not bad. I'll take it. Yeah, for sure. Uh, Human fish got it already too, so we we could get like a PSGL thing going, do like a round the four ball or something. Have a good night, sir. I'm gonna rate this course four stars. Beautiful course. TPC Scottsdale. That's in Arizona. Oh, I've, yeah, the Phoenix Open, duh. In Arizona. Should be no wind, please. Low wind, okay, I like low wind.
Hello and welcome to the Waste Management Phoenix Open. My name is Luke Elvey, alongside me as always is John McCarthy, and we're excited to bring this day's action to you. Hi Luke, glad to be here. Hope you're doing all right here today as we uh, kick things off at TPC Scottsdale. Could you tell us a little bit about this first hole? What are we up against here? The opening hole at TPC Scottsdale is a pretty straightaway, medium length par four. Anything less than driver off the tee will avoid that bunker off the fairway to left. However, this green, there are no bunkers around it. So if you want to be ultra aggressive, you'll have nothing shorter than a flip wedge in for your approach. Thanks a lot, Luke. Talk soon. Nice little wide open course here for Arizona. And with that, I declare this event open. And this putt is for birdie. And a good putt. And after that hole, one under for the day. And now setting up for the par four tee off. Sounded good. It's looking like it's heading into the fairway. 125 yards to go here. One's looking good. From 22 feet out. Oh, it didn't curve that's, at all. Uh, that's too huh. bad. And about five feet from the cup. That one will drop. And no change for him leaderboard wise after that hole. And setting up for the par five hole. And I think he will like that from 225 yards. Going with the five wood here. And this shot's looking pretty good. Okay, and hitting this par five in two is gonna set up some definite eagle possibilities. My word, this is looking very good, folks. And the eagle putt drops. And three under for the day after that one. And now team Finally my first eagle. eagle. I'll check later to see if that's a trophy. It usually is in most golf games.
And not the greatest club. No, it wasn't a trophy. Go figure. Eagles not a trophy. Oops. And this to save par. And finishing the hole with a solid putt. Okay, and he's still in first place, ladies and gentlemen. And now teeing off on this par four. Phenomenal power on that one. And from about 120 yards out. This could be good. It's heading for the green here. Well, that approach is definitely on, and uh, there's a fair ways still to get to that hole. Oh, my. This is looking too good to be true. And that one will go for birdie. And after that one, he's still... Holding on to the first place spot. And team off on this par four. Man, this drive's just smoking, folks. And this putt's for birdie. And a decent little putt there. Yeah. I'd say it's decent. And after that one, five under par for the day. And that means he's first overall on the leaderboard. And let's see what the seventh hole has in store today. Yeah, it looks like a five iron. This is heading towards the green. <laughs> Damn. From 19 feet away. Oh my goodness, that was close. And this putt is four par. And after that one, he's going to stay right where he was on the leaderboard. Next up is a par four, folks. And 
there was some serious power involved in this one. I thought he carried rattlesnakes. And about 155 yards to the pin. Going with the eight iron. And this one's heading towards the green. And this pot is for birdie. Oh my, and that was, that was just fun to watch. And he's sticking to the same position he was at uh, after that hole. And now setting up for the par four. Well, this one's looking like it's finding the fairway. Yeah, about 130 yards to go here. Going with a pitching wedge here. Well, not a good approach shot there. Just not enough club on that one. And this putt to save par. Solid putt. And Luke, what does this gorgeous TPC property have to offer on the back nine? What are you looking forward to? Well, everyone loves a party, don't they, John? And this stadium hole 16 at TPC Scottsdale is right in the thick of the action. However, the holes around it are as equally impressive as well. I love 15 and 17. So many changes can happen on the scoreboard. Thanks, Luke. And now we'll get back to the action. And now setting up for the next par four hole. Hello, Ramiz. How are you doing Thanks, today, sir? This is bound for the short stuff. From here, about 105 yards. Hmm. All right, that ball's going to go to the right. So I'll do that. Put a little that on there. This one's heading for the green. And that approach is safely on the green, but a uh, whole lot of work to do for that next putt. Uh, yeah, where you been traveling between? I don't hit it hard enough. Damn. And this puts about three feet away. Oops. Thailand and Dubai. Damn. And the par putt will drop. Some pretty exotic places. And he's going to stick to first place after that one. <laughs> Thailand and Dubai, a guy be like the hottest places on earth at this time here. Actually, no, wait. It's winter on Thailand, so. Oh, the 11th hole. But Dubai, got to be pretty hot no matter what time here is. That's always good. 
Never hurts to have a little vacation. Damn it. I just want one shot to go 300 yards so I can get the trophy. And from 155 yards out. Holy shit. That's gotta be like 120 degrees Fahrenheit. I mean, here today it's 36, I think. Thirty-four. It's thirty-four today here. And I don't live in a desert, so and here's an eight iron. Oh my god, it's triggering. Good. This guy can't say the word iron right. Now approach is on the green. Right a long pot ahead. Oh, this one's gonna be a This one's gonna be a doozy. Uh, we'll aim over here. And it doesn't curve. Oh, and it just didn't drop. <laughs> Minus the sunburn. <laughs> and this is for yeah, that is the worst part of vacation usually. No, actually, the worst part of vacation is going home. The second worst part, sunburn. And finishing the hole with a solid putt. And he's going to stay right there where he was on the leaderboard. No change in the ranking. Okay, moving on to the 12th. Oh boy. And this one's looking pretty good. <laughs> Damn. That's twice now I've hit it just right to the side of the hole. From 28 feet out. Oops. <laughs> All right, have fun on your safari, man. Thanks for stopping by and hope the rest of your traveling goes well. I think I hit that too hard. Oh, not hard enough. Ooh, that was uh, that was very close. That's what she said. <laughs> this putt's right around two okay. feet. And that little drop for par. Oh yeah, if you're still here on the new F1 2018 game, they let you pick an audio name. I picked Iceman as my name. <laughs> and now the 13th hole. Oh look, water in Arizona. You don't see water in Arizona. Well, I think this one's gonna find the short grass. From here, about 225 to the pin. Oh, this is a par five. Let's go. And here's the five wood. That's in a sand. Actually, that's not bad. Yeah, I'll take that. That was the intended result for that approach shot. I'd rather have it there sure than a sand. Two down on himself. He's been hitting those greens pretty good today. That was too much of a gamble there. I should have kind of half swung that. And this putt's for birdie. But you know, when you got a six shot lead, seven shot lead, yeah. You could gamble on a few shots. I didn't hit that hard enough. And from that wow. length, my goodness, that was some putt. And they are sitting at seven under par for the event. And that also means he's in first place on the leaderboard. And now setting up. 
with a par 4 tee off. This one's looking pretty good. And about 175 yards away here. And looks like a six iron. And that is not bound for the dance floor. Too much club on that one. This one's about 12 feet to the cup. This shot is looking too good. And the putt will drop. And he's still in first place after that hole. <laughs> and next up we have a par five hole. from 185 yards. I think that's a five iron. Very well played golf shot. Hitting this par five and two, it's gonna set up some serious possibilities. This is looking quite good. Ooh, that, that would have been good. And about five feet to go here. And that one will drop for birdie. And after that one, eight under is the score. And here we go, folks, the 16th hole. This is going to be intense. This is definitely heading towards the green. And the tee shot has landed safely on the green here at the 16th hole. It's a weight off their shoulders, I'm sure. And tapping in for the par. And after that hole, currently sitting at eight under. And that also means he is in first place on the leaderboard. And now teeing off on this par four. A little short par four, huh? Appears to be heading for the fairway here. And that was spectacular work hitting the green on this par four off the tee. And this for the birdie. And that putt will drop. And uh, no change in his leaderboard status after that hole.
teeing up for the final hole of the round. This one's looking pretty good so far. And about 105 yards to the pin. And heading for the green. And this next putt for a final round score of 61. And he's done it in convincing fashion, no less. Ladies and gentlemen, you're now looking at the Waste Management Phoenix Open champion. To win anywhere on tour is a big deal, but particularly here at TPC Scottsdale and the Waste Management Phoenix Open, you will never get a victory on tour in front of more people. What a great outcome. I'm sure you'll agree we saw some pretty good golf today. Thanks for tuning in. I mean, to be fair, that is a pretty damn easy course, so... I went 700 the first time I played it. Oh, that's fine. Empress Hills. Oh, I think that's enough golf for now. I'll be live again tomorrow, maybe. <sighs> I really do need to throw a stream up on Twitch. I haven't done one yet this month. Yeah, kind of, you know, they pay me, so I need to kind of throw a stream up on it. So, yeah. I will uh, catch everybody at a later date. Take care.